They say a picture tells the story of a thousand words. Every day, we look at an average of over 5,000 images, and we all form our own interpretation of them. Advertisements, family photos, they all have the power to capture and influence us in ways we can't imagine. Okay, so I'm here with Dr. Jane Dixon Gilmore. Thank you for doing this. Thank you. I have a few things for you that I need you to sign. Firstly, I have an envelope right here. And I just want you to verify that it's still closed, like you can't it open is. it. It's sealed. It's sealed. Yeah. I'm just going to take a pen and sign this nice and big. What I want you to do is I want you to sign this side nice and big. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to keep this envelope at home. All right. And then we're going to need it next week. Perfect. So I also have another thing for you. I have a photo. I'm just going to show the camera. And what I want you to do with this photo is I want you to take it as well. Okay. And pretty much whenever you can throughout the week, I just want you to look at it. Okay. So like, let's say when you're coming to work, just it's on your desk or whatever. Just look at it whenever you can. All right, I will do that. And we will meet up next week. Okay. Okay, thanks for All doing right. this. I'll see you next week. See you then. Okay, welcome back. Thank you. So, did you have a chance to look at this picture throughout the week? I did. So, whenever, any possible time, did you just look at it or was there a... It was nothing structured about it. I would just pick it up and look at it. I had it in the bookshelf in my living room. Perfect. So, the fact that you looked at it a lot means if you were to close your eyes right now, you would be able to visual, like, you would know what she looked like. Well, I think so. You think so? You probably could, yeah, though. probably could, yeah. From just looking at the photo throughout the week, did any weird questions arise, like maybe what kind of hobbies she was into, what did she do, anything like that? Well, she's got an odd look on her face, yeah. so I was wondering what, what was uh, going on with that. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to think of a random time. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes. Okay. I want you to imagine a big digital clock. Okay. There's a random time appearing in that clock. What is your random time? Say it out loud. 12.15. So your random time is 12.15? Okay. Um, I'm just going to show... This, this envelope has been with you the whole time? It has. Okay. Um, I'm just going to show the camera your signature to prove it's the same one. So it hasn't been opened? Nope. Nope. It's still stuck. It's Perfect. one of those... What I want you to do is I want you to open this for the first time and put it right here and tell me what it is. Okay. So... This is a piece of paper. I'm going to open this up. Do you mind tell me, telling me what this is? It's, oh, it's an entry of death. It's a death certificate, yeah. I guess. So it's, it's actually the death certificate of the lady you've been connected to all week. Oh my, okay. Do you mind telling me the time of her death? Um, I might need to get my glasses okay, on for that. Fine. Her time of death. Okay, oh! I'm a little creeped out now, because her time of death, death was 12.15. Your random time? Yes, actually. Do you, do you think it's coincidence, or...? Well, I don't know. Do you mind uh, getting the camera and seeing this, because they can't see it? Mostly I don't do this, but I'm going to try to explain this to you if I can. So, you've been looking at this photo the whole week, yep. and you did actually notice that clock tower, did you not? And it says 12.15. So that's... It was in the photo the whole time you've been looking so at this. So impressed. Moment. I mean, honestly, for most of the week, I thought it was a, uh, I thought it was a church tower. But it is. It's a clock tower. And yes, and it says 1215. Hmm. The, re the reason I wanted to try this whole thing out with you, because I'm always fascinated how just like a photo like this can have such an impact on you without you actually realizing it. Like, I don't know, when Absolutely. you walk downtown, you look around. That's amazing. Thanks so much for doing this. Well, Did thank amazing. you. It's kind of a creepy... Uh, thing that just happened because I had this picture all week and I was looking at it and I didn't know why I was looking at it but I kept looking at it and um, I had this random time that came to my mind and when I opened the envelope which had been sealed and I had no idea what was in there it was the death certificate of the woman in the photo and she died at exactly the random time that was in my mind so that was a little odd. I, I, like to, I like to have clear answers to the questions, and I don't have any clear answers to these questions, so um, 
a little difficult to explain, but you can explain everything, right? There are some things that work out there that we just don't know what they are, and James seems to have tapped into them. 